Welcome back to the Stock Market College Virtual Tutorials. Today I'll be doing a virtual tutorial on the Williams Percentage R indicator. Well, let's first call up a chart. Click on your blue icon. Open up your Quick Charts Professional. Go and select the stock. I like to maximize to get a better view. And I'll go select six months. Right, Williams percentage R is situated right at the end of your indicator set next to Williams accumulation distribution, right next to the help button. So I select that. And I've taken the liberty of putting in the two trigger lines. Um, minus 80 and minus 20. The Williams percentage R works very similar to the stochastic, um, except that's the converse. You know, with stochastic, anything above 20 indicates a bullish trend in a buy, and above 80 is an oversold level. A cross back down below 80 would support a sell or reversal. With Williams percentage R, the values run from minus 100 up to zero. So the more the uh, Williams percentage uh, decreases away from negative 100 to zero, that is a bullish trend. When it increases in negative value, in other words from zero to minus 100, would indicate a reversal of trend or a bearish trend. So let's follow this through. I mean you can see here you had a nice uptrend in Anglos bounced off the 80 line. Anything above 80 on the Williams percentage R would support a buy signal and once it gets um, ab above uh, minus 20 um, it's sort of oversold trend starts uh, weakening and a close below minus 20 on percentage William R would indicate a reversal trend uh, or, a, or a sell or a, sh or a short position. So looking at this uptrend over here you'll see that as the trend strengthened the Williams percentage R trend at above 20 got above 80 and you'll see that it stayed above 80 for most of this trend. It broke down at this point over here on the um, run about the 21st of September and you can see to the right of that vertical line there was a little bit of a dip in the in the in, in the price Williams percentage R went down um, to the minus 59.15 level um, still not um, a, a deep penetration but I mean it, it, it did break on that weakness then it reversed when the trend strengthened and went back above the minus 20 level and stayed there for some time. Um, what you really want to look for is a correlation between a close on the price below the moving averages and a close below minus 20 on the Williams percentage R. Um, currently Anglos is trending above its moving averages but when it does break through this moving averages and the Williams percentage R breaks through its moving averages and trends below 20, well that would signify a reversal of trend. You will then track it all the way down um, below minus 80 like you did over here. Wait for it to to break through the minus 80 level to uh, give you comfort in going long again in the stock. So. so Simplified, minus 80 and, and above is a buy, minus 20 and below is a sell. Hope you enjoyed that VT. I look forward to seeing you soon when I do the next virtual tutorial. Thank you.